Rachel from Garden for Cheap, and I am in Wyoming, Florida, for about two weeks. And I'm at a viewer's house, and today he's going to show me how he does his microgreens. So stay tuned, and here we go. You're recording. Is that 28 grams of seeds? 28 grams of seeds for this tree. Do you zero, zero out the, bot the bottle before you? Yes, the bottle weighs 16 grams. Use, I use coconut core. Because it's the bomb. Get yours online. Actually, I got this at a local uh, hydro farm or hydro store. You just barely cover the bottom or something. Yeah, this is this is a normal uh, size uh, size twenty four by twenty. Mhm. Mm and I cut the sides down so I'd have a one inch tray. You left the middles for handles. Left the middles for handles. I drilled the holes in it so that all I got to do is I could fill the bottom with water, drop that right in. That way I don't have to water from the top. I water from the bottom, and then when I'm done, I can bring this out when the product is grown and just cut right along the side. That's kind of smart. Instead of because the one-inch trays are kind of expensive, so I made my own. Well, you know. That's what this channel's about, doing things on the cheap. Hence the name Garden for Cheap. Because not everybody has money to spend on expensive things just to grow food. And what are you doing now? I'm just getting out of the lot, so I'm, I don't have my spray bottle. I'm going to go get my spray bottle. I'm go get your spray bottle. Right now he's testing his water before he waters the coconut core. And how important do you feel this process is to test your oh, water? This will make or break your crop. For real? Yes. If you're too high or too low, your, it, your crop will suffer from that. Our water here is a 6.5 right out of the tap, which is at the high end, but it works. And where is your location? In Waimama, Florida. And what is your growing zone? Nine. Wow. As you see, we're just above, we're, we're not quite 6.5, we're not quite 6, we're like right in the middle. So we're good. All right. I do believe the lowest is 4. Four to six point five. And the coconut core was a little bit dry, so I added water to it so we get it nice and able to pack it down in here. But you did that with safe water. I did that yeah with the water that was a little over six, yeah. You don't want to use anything that's above six point five. You know, just a sample, you would just soak it if it's dry like mine was too dry. Right. Get it wet again. And we're going to... So you flatten it out. That way the seeds are... Have a nice even... Yeah. Fill the holes. Fill in the low spots because you want it even. Did you get your uh, water testing stuff at a uh, same? At the at this local hydro store, yes. Okay. You can get it on Amazon too, they have it, it's, it's all the same thing. I'll have links below. 
in the description for you guys. On where you can find it on Amazon. And then if you need to go, they also sell the pH up and pH down. If you're a little high or a little low, that way you're, you're where you need to be. Yeah, coconut core does. But that's why I use, prefer to use it as a growing medium. Because it retains that water for the plants a lot longer than most other things. And that's just a old spice container. Garlic powder spice container, yeah. And then for this one, I use 28 grams. Just doing this for myself. And why do you put it in the spice container instead of just shaking it in the little thing that you have in your hand? Easier, easier to spread. Ah. Uh -huh. And you can tell it's not. It does not like this service. For whatever reason. So let me try it right here and see if that works better. And where did you get your weight scale? Uh, I got that online. But I think even Walmart has stuff like that. For the ones who yeah. shop there. Yep. Yeah, I do believe it's in the cooking pots and pan aisle. But there will be an Amazon link for that too. There's 28 grams. Uh, get my seeds. Let's get a shot of your seeds. Mountain Valley. Cool. And we have some radish, we have some salad mix. So add that to our salads and give it a little extra. Kick. A little extra nutrition, yeah. Because they're 40 to 40% 40 more nutritious than pound for pound than full size uh, vegetables. Spread it out. Try to get it as even as you can. And then these will go under grow lights for three to four days. That's pretty good there. Three to four days and then I'll take them, uh, they'll be covered, I'm sorry, they'll be covered for three to four days. And then after that, they will go into grow lights for about four to six days, just kind of depending on... The uh, germination rate and how warm it is and humidity. Yep, and then start harvesting them and stick them on your salad or you just want to eat them like they are. How do they taste? Like broccoli. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Like broccoli, that is true. It's like it's a strong, it's just just a strong broccoli flavor. And you want to give them a good soaking, kind of dimly. Now, once they sprout, do you water from the bottom, or do you still spray at the top? Uh, when they're under the three to four days, whenever they're germinating, you'll give them a light spray every day, twice mm -hmm. a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. And then once they, once you take them out and you put them under the lights, then I'll, I'll just raise the tray up, I'll pour the water on the bottom, and then set the tray back down. So that way, you don't want to do it from the top because they could start molding. Using the coconut core, is that easier than soil when you go to harvest? Yes. Uh, and as you tell the tray, when you do it, this sits right on top of here, so you don't want the water to go very higher than what the ridges are. Because it could have brought the roots. I'm taking it. Right. Or I would take it. And you'll, you'll see it because every day it'll be dry and then you have to put some more because the roots will start coming out the bottom. 
and then uh, that should be good enough. And since this is for your own personal use, how often do you do this? Uh, usually, this will last probably a couple weeks. Uh, eat it three, four times a week. You don't need a whole bunch, like I say, because the nutrition is high enough. We probably I make one, probably two, maybe two or three trays uh, a month. Cool. Uh, some, uh, I'll do the basic mix, which has a bunch of the different types of lettuce and broccoli. Ah, it's not. I thought it was written on here. But there's uh, cabbage, lettuces, broccoli. Uh, that, are in, that are in the basic mix. And it's a small, basically it's a salad. If you want to spice it up, that's what the radish, the radish is for. If you add some radish to it, you can put a little bit of spice in it. Wouldn't a, uh, arugula do the same thing? Yes. I do believe that it has a little arugula in it. And then also what you would want to do, try to help prevent the mold from happening, this is uh, hydro, hydro... Hydro peroxide? Hydrogen peroxide, yes, 3% mix and you just you want to spray the top of it and it. okay so you want to spray it with hydrogen peroxide so you can help make sure there's no mold issues sometimes the seeds are contaminated and also one last thing before you spray it with the hydrogen peroxide you want to look in here and make sure you don't have no big clumps of seeds that come together. You want to make sure they're spread apart. And this looks pretty good. If you have little areas, you just spread the seeds apart so you don't have any issues later on. And what seeds were this again? This was the broccoli. Broccoli. My fave. And that's it. It'll go under the lights. I'll put a cover on it when I get inside for, like I said, next three or four days. And they'll come out and put them under the grow lights and they'll be good. All right, well, I appreciate you letting me film this. And Not a problem. Happy growing. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys like that. Everything that I can find that Dylan Woolett, he has, if I can find it on Amazon, there'll be a link in the description for you. You can just click on that. I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do get a little kickback if you use my links. But I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit the little subscribe button if you haven't. And hit the little notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. Right. Have a great one. God bless and peace.